Now, I know a lot of online dealers are probably gonna hate me for doing this video. I am your economic friend. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Now, not a bad view, huh? Air doesn't look that great. The air quality here in the Salt Lake Valley is uh, kind of dirty. Sometimes it's not like this. Sometimes it is. I'm sure you guys can see that that muck, that uh, that dirty air. This right here is a mining company called Kennecott. You can't really see it because of all the haze, but it's kind of cool. Uh, you can see a copper color coming down the side of the top of the mountains and they've leveled some of it off. It's kind of cool looking. I like it. Some people don't like it. Some people around here are like, why do they ever allow them to mine right there in our view? Uh, it's an eyesore, but I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I would say I, I, I did a tour there uh, at their visitor center before they had a big accident they shut it down but that I did a tour in their visitor center I don't remember the exact numbers but like 90 percent of their mining is copper and of course other metals come out of there too I know there's a lot of zinc coming out but they actually mine and get the gold and silver out of there as well it's just not known as a gold or a silver mine but they are getting some gold and silver out of there, mostly copper. Somebody had asked a question on a previous video about how they usually prefer to go to local coin shops. Uh, that way they can see in what they're, they're actually buying, that they've been burned or they've been disappointed on uh, some silver or some gold coins or rounds that they had bought. And it just wasn't as in a good a BU condition as they had hoped. So I've had that same experience before in the past. What did I do? Now, what have I told you guys in other previous videos? Always ask questions, right? Never settle. So, is what I did the first time years ago, the first time when I had gotten my first order online through an online dealer, I, I was a little disappointed. I was buying BU condition, but it yet it looked like it had some little scuffs on it. It was nothing major, it was still considered BU condition but I was not 100% satisfied. I wasn't 100% happy with it. So what did I do? I called that dealer, that online dealer, and I complained. Well, I asked questions with a complaint, right? By doing that, they paid for me to ship it back to them, and at their own cost, they reshipped a replacement, and it was in as beautiful condition as I wanted it to be. Now, that wasn't the last time. There were some other online dealers I bought from in the past. I wasn't completely happy with what they sent me, so I sent it back, and uh, future orders, I guess they, they probably made a, uh, a, a note on my account saying this guy is, can I say this word? <laughs> uh, this guy is <laughs> retentive, only send him the best. I don't know, it's a reputation that I establish with my online dealers that I order from, right? So every time I do order something, it's always in mwah, perfect VU condition, untouched. Now, I know a lot of online dealers are probably gonna hate me for doing this video, but you know what? That's the only way to hold them accountable, right? You're paying a lot of money for, for your gold coins, uh, for your silver rounds and coins and bars and whatever you're getting. You deserve to have what you were expecting to get. And if you didn't, complain, ask questions, okay? So that's my tip for this video. That's my tip for the day. Thank you, economic friend. I, maybe I didn't think of that. Guys, stop settling. Never settle for anything. You know, unless it's a relationship with a loved one or family member. But when it comes to products, when it comes to getting what you want and what you need, fight for it. Never settle where it's just handed to you, okay? Thanks for watching this video. If you guys haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, the alert bell. That way you'll be alerted when I'm getting these videos out. Uh, lots of good information. Uh, give this video a like, and I love your comments. Please keep your comments coming. I've got a lot of followers who are leaving comments on every video. 
Woo, I absolutely love that. Thank you guys and gals. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. I'll see you guys in my next video.